Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I know me. I like to encourage the people with these encouragement uh, type of talks uh, and whatnot. Shout out to all the real fathers out there, for sure. Shout out to all the real fathers, the real dads who love, who love uh, to be involved in their child or children's life, to spend quality time uh, financially and so on. It's not just about uh, giving money for all those fathers out there who just think just because you're a dad, all you got to do is give money to the mother um, and that's it. No, it don't work that way. You know what I mean? You definitely, um, as a father, got to build a relationship with your kids. I would know. I got five kids, you know what I mean? And I had to learn that over time. Uh, that is not about giving money. Um, it's not about, you know, the time or whatever the case may be, but you really got to put all that stuff together, whether it's the finances, whether it's the quality of time, uh, helping them with their homework, among other things, to build up that relationship uh, with you and your daughter, with you and your son, um, and things like that. Especially like times like this. Especially like times like this, upon the stuff that we are going through in uh, this world uh, for sure you know what I mean I really me personally I don't respect deadbeat fathers at all I really don't because you're missing out on a lot of time with your kids it's precious moments uh, when they're young and you cannot get that time back at all you understand that to all those real fathers out there listen I'm giving y'all y'all flowers uh, for sure because it's tough it's tough in general, for sure, you know what I mean? Especially dealing with these uh, wicked people out here in this world, you know what I mean? I'm definitely uh, encouraged. Listen, be a protector. I'm a protector over my kids, for sure. Big time protector, and we hope and pray that our children grow up to have a wonderful life and follow God, uh, for sure. Definitely keep God first. Definitely instill, um, you know what I mean, uh, following God, striving for God. Uh, with your kids and whatnot and things like that because it's a beautiful thing of course it's a blessing um, to have kids uh, for sure you know I know a lot of us did not grow up um, without a father without a father um, in their life too much like myself I didn't grow up too much uh, with my father in my life uh, but yet the Lord has given me the ability to be a wonderful father to five of my kids uh, for sure two of them you know what I mean it was about to become adults um, in the next couple of years. So it was a wonderful thing to see them grow, you know what I mean, to positive uh, people for sure, go out there and uh, become successful uh, upon whatever education or whatever career field uh, they want to get involved in with the help of God uh, for sure. So to all the real dads out there, man, keep doing your thing uh, for sure. Definitely um, keep doing your thing. Do not let anybody uh, discourage you, whatever the case may be. I know some people hit me up. You know, they're dealing with crazy baby mothers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Listen, <laughs> I, the only advice I can really give you, listen, go to the Lord with it. Go to the Lord with it. Go to God with it, for sure. I see a lot of times on my Facebook, you know, uh, people, guys are ranting that, you know, the, the woman don't allow them to see their, kid, their kids and what have you because they have a personal situation as far as, like, uh, how the relationship went or whatever type of art they got against each other. Listen, they, I agree. They shouldn't um, use the kids as a pawn. You understand that? I get it. I understand that. You know, so women, certain women should not use a kid as a pawn, you know, just because they have an issue with you that you didn't uphold your standards in your relationship. I get it. You understand that? I know uh, if you was a good father, and let's just say, I'm not justifying, you know, a man cheating on a woman or whatever the case may be. But to a certain extent, like, if you was beating on a woman or if you was a drug addict and stuff like that, I get why she wants uh, to keep the kid or kids away from you. But if y'all just, you know, had a bad breakup in reference to cheating or whatever the case may be, or adultery and things like that, uh, me personally, and y'all can leave that comment in the comment section, I, I, I don't think that's a... A proper thing to do to keep the child um, away, especially if he was a good father, especially if he wants to be in his child or children life. Uh, that's to all those who's you know hit my inbox and stuff like that. You know who's going through situations uh, similar to that. You understand that? But overall, it's a good thing when you have a man 
All right, when you have a man who wants to be there for their kid, who wants to uh, build that relationship, who wants to build that bond, because you got a lot, of, you got a lot of no good men that just stopping here. Listen, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this chick pregnant. Stopping there next week, I'm gonna get her pregnant. All right, two weeks from now, I'm gonna go to a different state and I'm gonna get her pregnant. And what they doing after all these kids are born? Nothing at all. You understand that? You got a lot of no good men out there. You understand that? Walking scot free, uh, for sure. But when you have a real, when you have a real man who wants to be in their child's life out there, and a woman is keeping uh, them away from their kids for for uh, ignorant reasons, then she's a problem. You understand that? All I got to say, listen, go to God with that, uh, for sure. But uh, do it all. You know what I mean? It's a wonderful thing. Uh, to be a father, um, to build a bond, to build a relationship and things like that uh, with your children and to all the good dads out there. Keep it up for sure. Definitely keep it up. Uh, being a great dad, a real father and things of that nature for sure. All right. I'm Tony Harvin. I'm signing off. So I hope this piece has helped you, give you some type of encouragement um, in general. All right. Peace.